Uh, I'm briefly going to talk about character conversions, specifically uh, iConvert. Some of you may have heard of this. This is a, uh, whoa. It's an old uh, uh, function, part of POSIX, to convert from one character encoding or character set to another encoding or character set. Uh, so I dug up an old commit of mine from almost 10 years ago. Uh, that time. Um, so I convert POSIX library. Uh, so for example, you can convert from UCF8 to the current locale on the computer, which is what I needed to do. Uh, this is what it looks like. Uh, it takes an icon T, uh, a pointer pointer to an in buff, a pointer to in bytes left, a pointer pointer. Out. So basically, you have pointers to pointers to buffers. It takes pointers to your size variables. It's going to update them as you when you call this. Uh, note that the in buffer is not const, so it needs write access to your to your input buffer. Uh, so this is older than C99 when uh, C introduced const. Uh, so in order to get that icon VT, you need to call iconv open, and then you say what uh, character encodings and sets you want to convert between. I only want to convert between from UTF8 to the current locale, so I only need a single handle. So my function looks like this. I have a static icon T. I call icon open. The empty string means from or to local locale you'd have eight. Uh, set up my in variables, right? I, it takes pointers to variables. I need to create these variables uh, with my input size. The output size, I allocate four times the input, just in case. Set up my out variables, and then pass everything in to icon. Uh, note the cast there. I need to remove const. Uh, and then I resize the final string to whatever the, out, the size of the string was. So that's my function. Now, uh, the topic that I drew uh, a few months ago was to talk about the C++ horror story. And so this is my, my favorite bug. Uh, rare and ra random crashes caused by memory corruption. So it crashes if you have a core dump, you, it, nothing makes any sense. How do you debug those kinds of errors? Uh, these days, you would use address, san address sanitizer, uh, but that wasn't available 10 years ago, so I didn't, that wasn't an option for me. Uh, there, there used to be, or still are, uh, other kinds of malloc debug tools, like electric fence style, where you always allocate a page before and a page after your allocation and make those non-readable, non-writable. Um, uh, you look at code and scratch your head. It takes a long time, especially if you have, I had about 100,000 uh, lines of code. Um, or, and you run in a debugger and hope that you will catch it, uh, or maybe you uh, get core dumps that you then look at. So late one night, uh, I caught my crash in GDB, and uh, I've earlier today I did a sort of reconstruction of those events. So it's inspired by what actually happened 10 years ago. So <coughs> you fired up in, the, in GDB. What do you do? Well, you see SIGSEG. Um, yeah, so that's segment violation. That means you have a pointer that's, uh, you know, you, you dereference de the pointer that you're not supposed to dereference. Uh, and you get sort of, you know, which function it's in and the line of code the, that, that have, you know, where this happened. So just to uh, get uh, acquainted with like this, your surroundings a little bit, look at what threads there are. So, you know, there are five, four threads here, five threads, four, four threads. Number three apparently isn't there anymore. Um, number two was the one that crashed, all right. Um, stack trace, you know, BT. Uh, see, this is the, this the call stack. All right, great. So to go, get back to where you were, you can say frame, and you see this is this is where we are. Um, so let's start looking at um, info. So clearly, this info variable is causing some issue. Uh, we can tell. P info prints info. Uh, it's a reference. We can see it's an ampersand there, and this is the, the, the pointer. Uh, it all have zeros in it. I unfortunately I would have expected it to say that cannot access memory, uh, but it didn't. I'm pretty sure it did ten years ago, but who knows? Uh, you can validate my assumption that it's an invalid pointer because uh, by saying info proc mappings in GDB will print all of the ma uh, memory addresses that are mapped in your process. 
So, uh, you know, this is quite a long list. I truncated it to make it fit. Uh, and you can see that they're sorted. This address falls outside, but in between these two uh, mappings. 7FFF00 and 7FFF. 7FF, right? So this is 0, 03. So it's outside. It's invalid. So GDB should have said it's invalid. So now we know that info is a reference and it points to some garbage. Or it, 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 is, it is garbage in that reference. Um, so to get to see your source code, you say list and it will print some lines of, of, of the source code around your current location. And let's look around a little bit more. Um, where did info come from? Well, we, did, we uh, you know, picked it out of this array, or uh, perhaps it's a span. Uh, so block index, what index was that? Was that a weird object, a weird offset? It wasn't, it was zero. It's pretty normal. Like, that's typically available in, in your arrays. Um, so what about, what about B info, right, B info? It has a pointer and a length, so that kind of looks like a span. Uh, in fact, it, I, you know, it is a span. So this is where I would encourage everyone to not be afraid to disassemble and look at uh, x 664 assembly or x 86 assembly. Uh, I had a coworker around this, well, a year or so before that introduced me to this concept of not being intimidated by looking at assembly. I've never written any meaningful programs in x86, uh, 64 assembly. But that doesn't mean that this is useless. You can still tease a few things out. So uh, the this as command in GDB, it will also print a lot more. I truncated it uh, to fit on the slide. Uh, it says this is, the, this is the line. So what are we doing there? Uh, RAX, an offset of nine. Tr we're trying to copy that into EAX. OK, RAX, what's that? Uh, so with a little bit of Google, and Wikipedia, you can actually learn that RAX is in the normal Linux uh, calling convention for x86-64 is the return value. So then we see, ah, there's a call a few instructions up to this uh, operator, right, the index operator. So that's probably the return value from, from that uh, operator. Uh, but to be really sure, uh, we, can, we can do p-type block info. So we kind of have this suspicion that it's a block info. Uh, I don't have the source here, but so you can say p type block info and it will actually print the struct definition of this type. And so we can count there's a pointer, then there's a bit field. So the pointer is, uh, is eight bytes and then the bit field, little onion, it's, it's going to be reversed. So state that is at offset nine. Yeah. So the nine, the nine there, it, it, it fits. This is a pointer, this is an offset to that pointer. So this is definitely trying to access the field, uh, the state field. Uh, so why do we get garbage out of this function? What are, we, what are we passing in? Maybe we're passing in garbage. Um, so, what are we, so what we're passing in actually is RDX and, uh, oh, sorry, RSI and RDI. That's also on Wikipedia. If you look at the, the colon convention, and then a great command, info reg, or reg, will print all the registers. So then we see uh, RSI index. We're looking at the index, index zero. It makes sense. So this then is the this pointer uh, to the the index operator. Right, index zero. This pointer. Uh, um, so back to the source code. <coughs> what is what is B info? Right. So the, the, this pointer might be broken there. So we can print the, the address to be info. We get another pointer. <coughs> um, this is uh, also what we saw in the register. So we're still good. Our assumptions are still uh, reasonable. Um, so where did be info come from? Well, we got it from this function, and we passed in this. So let's look at this. Per per perhaps this is garbage. And in fact, when we print this, it's an iterator, so we dereference de it. Um, this is where you need some uh, domain knowledge of your program. Um, you, know, you would know your program when you're debugging it. I knew this program. Um, these values don't make sense. They're suspicious. 
So uh, this, is the val this is the address of the object that we're looking at, right? the, the address of the uh, object that the, de uh, the iterator returns when we dereference it. And the value something not make sense. So we can look at this object in various ways. Uh, and this is something that uh, this coworker of mine introduced me to, like to just you know, look at memory. So let's look at memory. There's a command x in GDB that dumps memory. Uh, mostly it will dump memory in the way that you don't want to. Uh, because there are so many different ways, right? It's almost never the one you actually want. So what you can say, x slash, so 100b, that means 100 bytes, print 100 bytes. So this is clearly not uh, that object that's supposed to be there, downloading piece. This is ASCII, you can see, slash h-o-m-e slash. This is, this is a string. So what is a string doing in my object? Let's print it as a string, you know. Take the address, cast it to a char const star, and print it, and it's a string. So let's go back to the threads and see, ah, there's this suspicious function that also happens to be executing right now in another thread. <laughs> so then uh, you can start to sus uh, suspect that icon iConvert is involved somehow. So what is the bug? <laughs> what is the problem? Uh, well, if you look, I'm not sure this is the man page on Linux had this. 10 years ago, but now it does. It's very good. Uh, it actually tells you that uh, icon is only thread safe as long as uh, you have like a specific handle object that you're calling it on. But I wasn't. I didn't care about that. I just created a single handle object as a static variable, and every thread just used that, which seemed reasonable at the time. Because why would they keep any state in there uh, that's mutable? Uh, however, though, in my defense. POSIX nor BSD man pages mention anything about this. Uh, and you know, I was primarily developing on a Mac at the time. So the fix is just to stick a mutex in there because I don't care if I can do this in parallel or not. Uh, you could also you know, create this handle as a thread local variable so that each thread gets their own handle. Uh, but there's no high contention here. So in summary, Trace your ba bad values backwards until you find uh, the root cause. Don't be intimida intimidated by the assembler. Uh, even if you don't understand all of it, just understanding a few things here and there can help you. Um, and one really powerful tool uh, to understand the assembly to sort of uh, get your bearings, so to speak, of where you are, uh, especially in a, in a release build, you know, things can be reordered quite a lot. Uh, look at, at field offsets. There are, you know, in, in the code, there are um, pointers and then offsets. And you can match up those offsets against the offsets of fields that you know of and that you expect. Uh, so these were the GDB commands that I went through. Uh, info threads, backtrace, or BT, frame, print, this as, info reg, and X. That's all I have. So how many hours did it take? To make the presentation or to fi fix it? <laughs> uh, I don't. I don't remember. Uh, I mean, once I actually caught it in the rugger, uh, it took about a night, a late night at the, at the office. Maybe. Yes. Do you think this is something that a thread sanitizer would have caught? I don't think so because the code in icon wouldn't be uh, instrumented. Uh, uh, I also have not had much uh, very good success or good experiences with thread sanitizer uh, either, because it has, I don't know. Yeah. That's, all right, thank you. <laughs>